Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So somehow integrate this. So as as a clue, um, in order for you to integrate this, you um, you would need to use integration by parts to come up with the uh, the reduction formula, and then from the reduction formula, then you can integrate this. And we've done the uh, the reduction formula before. So you, uh, if you don't understand it, then track back to one of the earlier videos. Well, anyway, somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, to do this, visualize visualize this thing here as this. So, so our, our first step is to come up with the uh, reduction formula, and then from the reduction formula, then we can start to integrate this. So, um, so now visualize this thing here as uh, as this. So, uh, so, so we were trying to uh, to integrate the natural law of uh, x to the power of five, but because we're trying to come up with our reduction formula. Change it for a case of uh, for a general case of n. So uh, so visualize that thing as to the to the power of n, and then uh, and then uh, and then set this here to be uh, to be u, and then set this here to be v prime. So if if this is u, then if you differentiate it, it will then give you this. And then if if uh, if v prime equals one, then if you integrate it, it will give you x. So now blindly follow this. So it's saying gets u times v. It's saying gets u times v. So that would be x uh, natural log of x to the power of n uh, minus minus the integral of it's saying gets uh, u prime times v. It's saying gets u prime times v. And notice that this thing here will cancel out with this. So these two will cancel each other out, leaving you with this natural log of x n minus 1 dx here and, that, and this is a constant so we can take it out so this whole thing here will then become this will then become this okay so uh, so uh, so now we, uh, we 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 are almost uh, to our to our reduction formula now so we are currently at this stage here so now now let uh, let f subscript n equals uh, equals this thing here so let this be this. So uh, so notice that notice that this thing here is pretty much exactly the same as this, but just just one notch down, just one notch down. So so let let this be this. Then then from here, this will then give us our reduction formula. So what it's saying is that we are trying to integrate our natural log of x to the power of five. We are trying to integrate this, but then by using this notation here, this is our five here. This n here is our five. So, 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 so really, we are trying to work this out. We are trying to work this out here. So, um, so, so remember, this n here, our n here is the five here. So now that we've got our reduction formula, we can now try to, um, we, we can now try to evaluate this now. So, so now. Following the following our reduction formula, now we are trying to integrate this. Following our reduction formula, uh, using using the annotation, we are really trying to find this out. We are trying to find this out. So this here is really our n here. Okay, so so our n here is really this bit here. Okay, and then uh, so if following this here, if we're trying to find out f subscript five of x here. Uh, so this would be using this formula here. It would be x uh, natural log of uh, x to the power of five to the power of five, and then uh, and then it's saying um, it's saying take away five. Remember n is five. Five of f of the previous term four of x. Now we we don't know we don't know this we don't know this previous term. So we need to work our way down. We now need to know f of four. Okay. So so hang on. So f of five. So f subscript five gives us this. But then uh, but then we still need to work this out. We don't know this. So now we need to work our way down. Okay. We we still need to know f of four here. We still need to know this. Well, f of four would be well. For looking at the uh, reduction formula. Looking at the reduction formula. Hang on. Uh, sorry, bear with me. Looking at the reduction formula, looking at the reduction formula, f of four would be, would be, um, would be this. 
Um, but then, but then we still need to basically, basically use the reduction formula to give you f of four. So f of four would be this. But but the thing is, we still don't know f of three. Well, f of three. So we we need to work our way down. So f of three would be given by this. It's really us applying the reduction formula again in order to work out f of three. And then and then f of so f of three equals this whole thing here. But then we don't know f of f of two. So uh, so f f of two here would be given by this because we we would then apply the the reduction formula for f of two. So f of two would be this whole thing here. So it would be two times f of one. But then we don't know f of one, so we we need to reapply the same process again to take us. So so f of one would be given by this. And this, by the way, is f of zero, f of zero. And then if if you look back at the original formula here, f of zero would would really mean this this thing to the power of zero, or well, this thing to the power of zero is one. So this f of zero. This f of zero here is really this bit here. This here is really f of zero. Okay. Um, so uh, so now we we now know f of one. Now now that we know f of one, we can then we can then put this into into f of one. So then we know f of two. Then once we know f of two, we can then put it into into here, and then that would then give us f of three. Once we know f of three, we can then Put it into here to give us f of four. Once we know f of four, we can then put it into here to give us um, to give us f of five. So let's let's start from here now. So f of one, f of one is given by given by this, okay? Because if, if you integrate this, it will give you x um, plus c. But we're gonna we're gonna leave the c right to the end. So forget about the constant for the time being. So, uh, so f of one is given by this. Now that we know f of one, we can work out f of two. Okay. So, so now, now that we know f of one, we can then work out f of two. Because if you look at this here, f of two is given by this thing. So f of two here is given by this thing, which is this bit here. Um, take away, take away two, two times the previous term. Well the previous term was this thing here. So we can then put it into here. So so it's really basically you following this bit here. It's saying, well f of two is this thing here, f of two is this thing here, take away two times the previous term. The previous term was this. So uh sorry the previous term was this. So we can put it into here. And then and then now that we know f of two, we can now work out f of three. Well, we can now work out f of 3. Well, f of 3, if you look back here, it's saying f of 3 here is, is this thing, take away 3 times the previous one. So now going back down to here, going back down to here, f of 3, um, f of 3 is given by this thing, which is this bit here, take away which is this bit here, and then three times the previous term. Well, the previous term was this. So now, so so blah 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 all the way through. You might have to press pause and think about it. But um, if you follow through the whole process here, um, the the overall integral will be given by this. So this here is your final answer. Okay.